Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com. In this video we will look at adding overtime hours in MS Project. So I have this project on screen at the moment and I've got a task called Define Scope which is what I'm going to use for this example which has a five day duration. And I've also, if I switch to my resource sheet, got a work resource set up uh, called Billy Bonds, who's got 100% max units and has got a standard and overtime rate assigned of £20 an hour standard rate, £25 an hour overtime rate. Now I'm going to come back to my Gantt chart and before I add Billy to that task and look at overtime hours, I just want to show my schedule settings from options so that we can see that I've got an 8 hour day, a 40 hour week uh, going on here in my scheduling. And Billy uses that standard calendar. So I'm now going to assign Billy to that task. Billy gets assigned to define scope, this 5 day task mean that Billy is doing eight hours a day on that task. And I've also inserted this cost column so we can see some cost information as we go as well. And £800 is assigned because Billy does £20 an hour standard rate, an eight hour day, making £160 a day, and times by five days, making £800. Five times 160 is 800 Now, what I want is, I don't want Billy doing 8 hours a day you know, for his 40 hour week, where he's also going to do 2 hours overtime every day. So overall he's going to be doing a 50 hour week. He's got his 8 hours per day plus 2 hours overtime, 10 hours per day over 5 days. That's what I want to say to project. Now to add in the overtime, I'm going to go for the view tab and check this details box to the right to get this split screen and open the task form in the bottom half. My task form is already showing work information. If yours does not, simply right mouse click anywhere in that bottom half and change it to work. It might be on uh, resources and predecessors or schedule. I think resources and predecessors is the default. In here we can see that Billy is doing that 40 hour week and my plan is to type 10 hours in this overtime work column supplied to the right and click somewhere in the Gantt chart to refresh that screen. When I do so I can see the duration of this fine scope drop to 3.75 because this overtime work, you know, this work column is inclusive of that 10 hours. So he's now doing 30 hours of scheduled work and 10 hours of overtime work, making the 40 hours. Because of that, the duration has dropped to 3.75, which is quite a common thing. <clears throat> it's assumed that if somebody's doing overtime, it's to get a job done quicker, which is a fair assumption. That's probably why you're doing it. So his 30 hours scheduled work now, as it falls into... 8, 16, 24, 32. So the 8 hours a day is just shy of 4 days. It is 3 days and 6 hours worth of work, or 3 and 3 quarter days. So that's why Project has done that, and it's costed at £850. He's doing 30 hours of scheduled work, £20 an hour, that's £600. 10 hours overtime, at twenty-five pounds an hour, that's two hundred and fifty pounds. Six hundred plus two fifty, we have eight fifty. Now, although it's quite commonplace, that's not what I wanted. I wanted it to say that it's doing eight hours a day plus the extra two hours. It's not going to affect the um, the duration of the task. I just want to make sure that project includes the costings because he's getting charged. At, um, I have to pay him that little bit more for the overtime. So I'm just going to change the work column to 50. So £50 work 
uh, sorry, 50 hours work and 10 hours overtime work. So it changes back to five days duration. We can see the cost increase. Now it's including the fact that he's doing 40 hours at 20 pounds an hour. Um, and on top of that, we have the uh, 250. So he's got 800 plus 250 now. Uh, so 1,500. Uh, so 1,050 pounds. So that is overtime being used. You have to enter it manually. Uh, one way you can do it, probably the easiest way, is this task form in this split view. Just bear in mind that the work is inclusive of that. So the project decreases the duration, which is quite a natural thing to do. But if not, make sure you change the work figure as well. Hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some other tips and tutorials at computergaga.com.